Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factory 2, a fantasy harvest man. So today is actually Mana's birthday. Because of that, I'm going to check to see if I have what I need. Give me just a moment. Alright, we're going to use milk to make the level 10 recipe. Butter. And then here at the oven, we're going to combine butter and a yam to make the level 13 recipe. Roasted yam. I believe you can just buy that, but I didn't feel like it. I wanted to make it, so I did. <laughs> hey, Mom. Thanks. Today's my birthday. I can't believe you got me a roasted yam. Wow. Bread and rice, which I've done, so... I'm just about positive I've done that before. All right. Here, with no tools, we're going to use a gold turnip, a pink turnip, and a regular turnip all together for the level 21 recipe. Turnip Heaven. The turnips of the world finally together. Eat all three colors at once for the best experience. Neat. Fishing time. Not for a blowfish at the moment, but at least for other things. Well, this isn't what I was going for, but my fourth catch here was a Glitter Snapper, level 10. Neat. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I like that. Good. Happy to have that. Well, as you can tell, I caught a lot of fish here, and eventually got a blowfish. Famous for being used in yeah. Famous for being used in gourmet dishes. Very hard to prepare as the fish contains poison. So, I'm gonna catch two more fish. Maybe I can catch two more blowfish, because I still need two more, as you might have guessed. And another blowfish. It only took ten more catches after the previous inventory. And only two fish later, a glitter snapper. I saved. Alright, let's hope I don't die by doing this, but we're gonna take one large fleece. For our first sleeping bag. Sleep well. And it is no longer a stormy day. Back to fishing. Got a bullfish in take very long, to be honest. Six fish, not bad. There is still stuff left for, uh, Wednesday. Today we'll try some more difficult grilled fish recipes. First, I'll show you salt to time in. Just salt and cook a time in. Not to- try not to burn it. Next is fried yellowtail. You cook this with sauce instead of salt. You'll need a yellowtail. The sauce makes it easy to burn, so be careful. Then, grate some daikon radish over it. It tastes great. Next is tuna teriyaki. This is also made with sauce instead of salt. To make it, brush the tuna with sauce, then cook it. Then add some grated daikon radish on it before eating. Next is fried turbo. Simply season the turbo, then cook it. Last is fried lamp squid. This one's a little different, so pay attention. Start with the lamp squid. Before cooking, take the lamp from its center. Next, take some lamp grass and put it in the middle of the lamp squid. After that, simply cook it and it's ready. This time, let's try making the hardest grilled fish dishes. First is fried snapper. You just need a snapper. The only problem is it's difficult to catch. Next is fried glitter snapper. Just cook a glitter snapper. It burns very easily, so be extra careful. Next is fried lover snapper. You need a lover snapper. It's very valuable fish, so prepare it carefully. Next is fried flounder. To prepare it, just cook a flounder. Finally, we'll try making fried full flounder. What a splendid name. First, make some fine cuts in a fall flounder. Then, grate some daikon radish and place it on the fall flounder. And that's it, you're done. Uh, 
All right. And I'll double check the sashimi one, but it seems like the first one, there's going to be one on every day I just can't complete. And it just seems to be a bug with the game. Fishing here once again. To get a lover snapper. Perfect. First one. First try. In theory, up here at the ruins. A uh, branch. A uh, branch. A uh, branch. A uh, branch. This isn't an, a fish. I'm just leaving this place. Cabellio. Not what I needed, but it meets the criteria of me not leaving yet. Oh, it's a rock! How could that wound up on there? No. You know what, I'm just gonna try somewhere else. I'm wasting a lot of time. Alright, on Blessia in the Silent Cave. We got a Gabellio again. And a branch. Hate it here. Finally! Christian Carp. Yeah. That took way too long to get a single one of those. And I need more than one. There we go, finally a Christian Carp. I haven't eat all my food, but you know, sure, I don't really care. Gets me back up to 100 RP, sure, why not? So, yeah, I had to do a bit of fishing to get two Christian Carp. Just occurred to me I never did my lessons with Barrett today. Unfortunate, maybe next Wednesday. Okay. So, Gabellu, very few mills of this fish exist. Lives in calm areas with little current. Crucian Carp, matures quickly and lives for a long time. Mainly eats plankton, so skill is needed to hook it with bait. Blowfish, famous for being used in gourmet dishes. Very hard to prepare as the fish contains poison. And Glitter Snapper, a dazzling fish that glitters in the sun, making it easy to spot. However, it is not so easy to catch. That is four more on my ship list. Nice. Out of curiosity, 86% of fish now shipped. Nice, nice, nice. 73% overall. Here in the frying pan, we're going to take one Crucian Carp for the level 19 recipe, Fried Crucian Carp. After cooking all those up, I'm at level 46 cooking currently. I'm still like 25 levels away from where I need to be to do this freaking quest. This is painful. Alright. Fried Crucian Carp. Crucian Carp salted then fried. The fresher the fish, the tastier be when cooked. Now when cooking by hand, I'm going to take one flour to make bread. And then in the fry pan, we're going to use one bread, dry curry, and oil to make the level 47 recipe, which I believe we have a 91% chance of making. Curry bread. Now here at the knife set, we're going to take up a little fish and attempt to make blowfish sashimi. Blowfish sashimi is actually a level 51 recipe. We were not at level, so it was like a 50-50 shot, maybe a 40-something percent. So, I'm really happy about that. Cool. Now here at the frying pan, we're going to take one lamp grass and one lamp squid for the level 50 recipe. Fried lamp squid. Once again, not a 100% chance to make this, but still awesome. Getting a large milk. Alright, first at the mixer, we're going to take a tomato and an onion to make ketchup. Skill level increased. We're gonna take our large milk 
and make large cheese out of it. And then over here at the oven, we're going to go down here and do the level 49 variant of seafood pizza using ketchup, squid, cheese, flour, and shrimp to make seafood pizza. Alright, curry bread. Baked bread with curry in the center. Crispy crust, soft bread, and spicy curry together in harmony. Wolfish sashimi. Wolfish sliced so thinly that you can almost see through the plate. A very expensive dish. Fried lamp squid. Lamp squid. A little bitter after being fried, but still popular with real gourmet connoisseurs. And seafood pizza. A pizza topped with shrimp and squid. Looks fantastic and smells great too. Alright, four more things. Actually, another think about it. That puts us at 75% of all cooking done. Nice, nice. Over here at the steamer, we're gonna take one flour, one oil, one cabbage, and one onion to make the level 24 recipe. Steamed gyoza. And we're also going to take one flour, one cabbage, one green grass, one shrimp, and one onion to make the level 23 recipe. Meat dumpling. I doubt we can make this, but... Where is it? Chocolate cake. Level 56 recipe. We have a 19% chance. So we take flour, a small milk, chocolate, and butter all together. I didn't figure, but we had to give it a shot. And again, failed again. Not great experience if you fail, but if I were to succeed, I'd get a lot of XP. Tomorrow I'll buy a bunch of milk, chocolate, and flour, and I'll just start trying to make this. This will be a good grinding thing. Alright, and now we're on to the 11th. Meat dumpling, a popular snack. Plump, soft bread, and sweet stuffing makes a tasty combination. And steamed gyoza. Gyoza cooked the standard way. Steaming seals everything in, filling them with flavor. As well as our two failed dishes. Alright, dessert and fancy juices. Let's make a cheesecake mix. Let's start with the batter. First, I just realized I've absolutely done this. Yeah, I was pretty sure. Alright, fancy juice is the final thing. Today, we'll be making some recently discovered juice recipes. First up is gold juice. Start with an emery flower. Next is a gold turnip. The mixer is already glittering. Add a gold cabbage next. Then, add gold potato. Remove the skin first. Coward. Add gold pumpkin last. Let's hope it's worth all those ingredients. Next is Prelude to Love, sweet with just a tiny sour taste. To make it, start by peeling a pink melon. Then add a strawberry, mix them both together, and you're done. Last is Hot Juice. Try not to be surprised by the ingredients, okay? Start with gunpowder. Wow, is it really safe to drink this? Add some red grass next. Finally, mix in a hot hot fruit, and you're done. I think this might be a bit too much for you kids, though. Alright, and that is the final lesson for Thursday, or at least for her class on Thursday. Alright, once again we attempt this. I may have uh, kind of forgotten to pick up extra flour, so I'll grab that later. By now it really should have succeeded. Statistically, this one has to succeed, right? Technically this is my sixth one. Seventh? Something like that. Seventh one? Nineteen percent my butt. Finally! Skill level increased and I better have increased from that. Ugh. That took eleven, I think? Yeah, that took eleven tries. 
I'm at a 28% chance now. And I did it! Chocolate cake! Skill will increase. Chocolate cake again! Mind you, I'm at a 37% chance, which is a lot better, but still. I'm still happy it happened twice in a row. Chocolate cake again! Skill will increase. Heck yeah. Chocolate cake. Skill increased in there, nice. Okay, we're at a 55% chance right now. Skill will increase once again. After all this, I'm almost level 53. I've made 12 chocolate cakes out of the 36, so I've gotten about a 33% chance, you know, average or whatever. Not bad. Skill increased. Skill level increased. Alright. That puts me at level 55 currently, which means I think I have a 91% or something. Yep, a 91% chance. So it's not really worth doing this. If I use large milk, which I can't buy, sadly, uh, it's a 37% chance. So that would be more worth it, but I only be able to really do one of those a day because I didn't tame a bunch of buff moves. Now, by hand, we're going to combine all of these different colors of grasses and one medicinal herb into relaxed tea leaves. Alright, we're going to take a blowfish and an antidotal herb for the level 56 recipe, fried blowfish. Chocolate cake. Cake covered in chocolate. Dark as night, it's sweet yet bitter cocoa taste has fans across the globe. Fried blowfish. Fried blowfish. Very few people have tasted it since generally blowfish isn't fried. Alright, two more things off the list. Honey time. Oh, there are a lot of things today. Um, yeah. I guess we'll start with Two-Handed Swords 1. Today's class is on Two-Handed Swords. First is the Poison Blade. Start by getting a Claymore. Use Scorpion Pincher for the blade. Then you'll need an Insect Chop for the handle, obviously. Make a guard out of an arrowhead. Coat the finished blade with poison powder. Then wrap a strong line around the grip, and you'll be all done. This next sword, the Flamberge, has a very distinctive shape. Before you reforge anything, you'll need a great sword. After that, you'll be needing a bird wing. That and a proof of warrior. Be sure to use an arrowhead to make the guard. Get a strong vine ready so you can make the handle. Then just use a quality fur to make a grip. What do you think? Got it? And next is a sword with the power of fire, the Shine Blade. Start by getting a flame saber ready. Then use a fire crystal to give the blade the power of fire. After that, you'll need a magic crystal. Use the tortoise shell on the tip. It should start to turn blue. Make a grip with the giant's gloves so you don't get burned. Use a woolly fur ball to protect yourself as well. Now for another poisonous sword, the Bio Smasher. First you'll need a poison blade. The Bio Smasher has a distinctive shape. Use a giant's fingernail to form the blade. Oh, and don't forget to mix in poison powder as well. After that, you'll be needing an insect skin. Then use a skull in the middle of the guard to add flair. End by wrapping it with a cheap cloth to form a grip. The last lesson will be on making a Kotzbalger. A Alright, listen up. First you'll be needing a Flamberge. Reforge the blade with a Scorpion Pincher. Use a Magic Crystal on the blade also. Make sure to use an Arrowhead to make the guard. The handle should be made from a strong vine. Then wrap it with a strong string and you'll be all set. Alright, the next one, Elemental Two-Handed Swords. Next is a sword with the power of wind, the Heaven of Sunder. To make one, first you'll need a Cyclone Blade. And a Bullhorn. Also a Wind Crystal. 
Next, you'll be needing a gunpowder. Forging the sword requires a lot more heat than usual. Then add a proof of warrior. Then wrap the handle with a quality cloth and you're good to go. The next sword, the Grand Smasher, has the power of Earth. First, you'll be needing an Earth Shade. Then, an Earth Crystal. It'll be hard to work with, but... But be tough. Then some Gunpowder. Careful not to boil yourself up. Use a hard horn to make the ridge. Then, wrap the handle with cheap cloth. Finish it off by wrapping it again with the fur. Last, I'll teach you about the snow crown. First of all, you'll need a sea cutter. Reforge the blade with a water crystal. At the same time, freeze the blade using a magic powder. Make the guard out of a tortoise shell. Use a giant's glove on the grip so that your hands don't freeze. It'd also be a good idea to have quality fur on hand too. Alright, and we're free of that. Oh, food time. Stew, nice. Alright, here at the knife set, we're gonna go down to Glitter Sashimi. Just a Glitter Snapper and a 46% chance of success. We did it! Alright. Glitter Sashimi. Rare Glitter Snapper. The ultimate in high class sashimi. Its sweet and smooth taste is in perfection. Is it? Is perfection. I isn't. Right. Now over at the pot, we're gonna take relaxed tea leaves, honey, and a pink melon. For the level 51 recipe, relaxed tea. Relaxed tea. A tea infused with a variety of herbs. Its flavor and fragrance have calming powers. Done. That puts us up at 78% of all of the cooking recipes. Nice. Alright guys, next time on Let's Play Rune Factory 2, A Fantasy Harvest Moon. I am a bit burned out, to be honest. <laughs> I've been doing this for hours, uh, even more than my recording says. My recording is at... My recording says I'm two hours in, and I know that's not accurate because I also kept stopping my recording stuff to then just start fishing for long periods of time because, you know, footage and whatnot. Don't want to take up all my hard drive space. So, we're slowly getting through everything. Um, between episodes, I'm going to figure out exactly what I need to, like, ship when it comes to the generic stuff with the miscellaneous, crops, things like that. Beyond that, we still have a lot of recipes left to do, so we'll keep on working on this stuff and eventually get high enough level that way we can finally make the fried leper snapper. I'll see you all then. Bye bye.